So when you think of coding jobs, you probably think of really high salaries and awesome work culture. But when I got my software engineering job and I realized that not only did I hate the company and the salary was poo, <laughs> I decided it was time to quit. But the problem is that I lived in London, one of the most expensive cities in the world. So I couldn't really just leave my job without having a new one. My notice period was four weeks, so I basically had to find a job in that time. But the problem is that because I never actually properly mastered data structures and algorithms, I realized that there was no way that I could pass the notoriously difficult coding interviews at the big tech companies like Google or Meta. So somehow I had to figure out a way to master data structures and algorithms and learn to apply them in coding interviews in just four weeks. And here's how I did that. But the crazy thing is that around week three, I discovered this system that basically anyone could apply to basically do the same thing. But before I tell you what that was, we need to go back to the beginning. So I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit grumpy about having to learn data structures and algorithms. Why do we have to learn these random theoretical concepts just to please some smart ass interviews when, let's be honest, data structures and algorithms have nothing to do with the actual job. And I know this because I was a software engineer already at this point. So I knew that before I could move forward, I had to properly understand what I was even learning because otherwise I would just end up quitting. So here's what I discovered. After watching tons of useless tutorials that simply skip to the what with no explanation about the why and the big picture, I decided to go back to the beginning. And I realized that the reason to learn DSA was hidden in plain sight the entire time. And to understand how, we need to talk about Legos. So let's say we have this Lego house in here. In order to build this Lego house, you need three things. You need the right pieces, you need to connect those pieces in the right way and in the right order. Now I want you to think of this Lego house as sort of like a program. And in programming, we also have three things we need. We have some data that we need to organize in the right way and modify in the right order to get the program that we want. Just look at this amazing fireworks program I made in Python. We need the right input colors organized in an array and then the right steps, AKA the right lines of code to make this bad boy into reality. I can't believe I just spent two hours making this just for the video. I don't have a life. So in any program, all we really have is the right data organized in the right kind of way, AKA a data structure, and then applied to so the right lines of code, AKA an algorithm to produce a program. So in programming, literally everything we do is simply data structures and algorithms. So when I realized this, I was like, huh, it actually makes sense why we should be learning these things. So what I learned about data structures and algorithms is that there's a lot of them, like seriously a lot. So with only three and a half weeks left, I had to get to work. So I did what any noob would do and I picked up a massive textbook to teach me basically all of it, which as it turns out was not the most effective way. But after falling asleep, like literally every single time I opened it, I figured that there must be a better way. So as my next step, I picked up this course on Coursera, which was a lot better. But the problem with this one was is that it was teaching a lot of stuff that was meant more for like theoretical computer scientists and like things like this, and not for how to pass a Google coding interview in four weeks. So while the course was good, and I still recommend it if you want a comprehensive understanding, it wasn't the right thing for me at this point. The thing I did do was Zero to Mastery's Data Structure and Algorithms Bootcamp. The only issue with it was that it was in JavaScript, whereas I use Python mainly. So I still had to do a lot of manual work to like figure out everything on my own using Python. And the other problem was that it didn't have a proper way for me to learn the problem solving patterns that you need to master in order to actually use these concepts to pass coding interviews. But luckily, today we actually have a resource like this it's called algo monster and they are also very conveniently today's sponsor when you're presented with 2000 plus lead code problems it can be quite intimidating but the thing is that almost all of these problems can be condensed into a small set of patterns and principles that you can learn like any other thing and then all you have to do is master these building blocks to be able to solve all of these thousands of coding problems. Now I had to figure these things out myself, but what I wish I had is something like Algo Monster, which specifically is designed to explain these building blocks and these principles to you. They have a step-by-step -step plan that you can use to meticulously study all of these problem solving patterns in order. And literally, if you just study these things, you're gonna be so confident that you know absolutely everything you need to pass coding interviews. 
Algo Monster was designed by a group of Google engineers and it's focused on interactive learning to ensure that you can master everything you need to walk into any tech interview with confidence. If that sounds interesting to you, I will leave my affiliate link down below in the description so you can do all of this much more easily than I did at the time. So thank you to Algo Monster for sponsoring this video and with that, let's continue on with our story. So with two weeks left, I had learned a lot of things, but I hadn't really made a lot of progress at all when it comes to actually solving problems. So I realized there was no time for me to study the theory. I just had to get into practice. I made sure to understand the space and time complexities of some of the most common operations for a lot of common data structures like arrays and linked lists and like another high level when to use one over the other and things like this. But besides that, I simply tried to do as many problems as possible. But again, the problem is that there's so many problems to solve. So how could I just solve the problems that I need to master in order to pass coding interview? So when went online, and I learned two key things. The first thing I learned is that to pass even Google level interviews, all you really need to know is how to pass medium level coding interview. So I basically now had a benchmark. And secondly, I stumbled into this golden resource of this famous blind 75 lead code problems list, which is basically now become this de facto list of these 75 problems that you need to master in order to be able to walk into Google and Facebook and all the big tech companies. So I made it my mission to master all of the 75 problems on this list. Problem is that I only had like two weeks left, so that equated to like more than five problems per day, which is <laughs> which is a lot. And worse, yeah, because I had been studying so inefficiently before, I found that I continuously forgot what I had learned before when I was learning something new. And even worse than that, something happened out of nowhere. So at this point, I had been loosely applying for some jobs here and there. And because when you're a software engineer, you get a lot of inbound from LinkedIn anyway. I wasn't really expecting anything yet. But then one day I got this email. It was an invitation to an interview at a tech startup that was not Google, but it was exactly the kind of company that I really wanted to work for. And I saw that this was the opportunity for me to escape this company that I no longer wanted to work for. So I now had to master how to pass a coding interview in literally just two weeks. So day by self, I was solving problem after problem. And at this point, I stumbled upon this new strategy that actually allowed me to master these problems so much faster than I thought was possible. And here's what my strategy was. Step number one, solve the problem conceptually. I would intentionally completely forget about the code. I would literally like take Lego pieces if that's relevant and try to just solve the problem conceptually. And then step two, I would try to apply that conceptual understanding into code. And in the beginning, this is always where I would get stuck because I didn't have the experience to really put these things in the code efficiently. So that is why after 30 minutes, if I didn't get it yet, I would move on to step three, which is actually just looking up the answer. Like guys, it's completely fine to look up the answer provided you do step number four, which is to understand the solution. Don't just copy a solution and make it pass on lead code. As much as it made you feel good about yourself, that is not going to make you learn. You need to make sure you understand what the code does so that then in the future in a similar problem, you can apply the same pattern. And then after I got the solution as a step five, I would try to learn what is the pattern? What is the general takeaway that I can take from this problem to apply in the future, which again, I had to do myself, but you can do by using Algo Monster. I did this over and over and over and over and over again. And truth be told, I did not manage to solve all 75 problems. So the day before the interview, I was still not really confident that it was all going to work out. But the thing that I'm so glad that I did is that I tried before I thought I was ready and I just went in. But before I tell you what happened, like really at this point, it wasn't even about whether I would pass this particular interview or not. But I was really proud of the fact that I had managed to do this in such a short amount of time. Like, and it made me realize that if I just put my mind to something, and if I have a literal deadline where I just have to do something in a certain amount of time, I can do pretty much anything. Like data structure and algorithms is one of the hardest things to master when it comes to programming and computer science. If I could master this, I could literally master anything. So you wanna know what happened at the interview? I passed and I was absolutely ecstatic, but I didn't take the job because what I ended up doing instead was quitting my previous job, moving to Dubai to do YouTube full-time and to build my startup full-time because I realized that those were actually 
actually the things that I wanted to do anyway. But the thing is, had I not built the skill to pass these coding interviews, I would probably not have had the confidence to quit to pursue my entrepreneurial dreams because now I basically know that I can literally just go and get a coding job at any time whenever I want. So yeah, it's funny how the universe works sometimes. I guess technically I failed. So right now, if you want to take action, I recommend you go watch this video where I explain to you conceptually what data structures are. And after that, you can go watch this video where I explain to you what algorithms are. So you can basically take the first step in the next hour by just watching these two videos right now.